Hi guys, this is Mo Volans for AudioTouch.com and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the new version of Ableton Live. We're currently at um, 9.02 as of today with the Ableton 9 suite and I'm going to be showing you a couple of new features that I'm particularly excited about um, and that is converting uh, MIDI into Melody uh, sorry, converting MIDI into Melody and converting drums into MIDI. Um, so this is really taking the essence of your audio and converting it into MIDI patterns. And it works really well. Um, I'm going to be using it with a pattern that shows you some of its limitations maybe, but ultimately that it works, it, uh, it's a solid you know technique to use in Ableton. And we've always been able to, let me just close this down here, we've always been able to convert our loops into slices and put those slices into a sampler. So we've always been able to click on a clip here, or right click on a clip, and go to uh, slice to new MIDI track. And what that'll do is just automatically take the slices of the sample, the analyzed sample, and put those uh, onto keys. In fact, I'll do it and show you. Um, we can choose it by transient and just use the built-in uh, slicing preset here. And it'll automatically build, there you go, 67 slices, and put them um, onto different um, keys here in essentially um, a sampler and that's been really great because that gives you a MIDI track uh, to play back and you know you can just immediately play back the same loop but you've got all the slices sort of like a Rex player sort of like uh, the same thing that an EXS24 does in Logic you know it's been around for a while I'm just going to undo that so we've just got our two tracks here um, but really what we're looking at is a whole new technology and you can see it in the same area when we uh, scroll down you can see convert harmony melody or drums to new midi track we're going to be looking at the at the last two in the list melody and drums um, and i'm going to show you you know what can be done but it's really pretty exciting if any of you have ever used melodyne um, it's a very similar technology in that it's able to analyze your audio and convert that to midi so without talking about it too much more i'm going to get my headphones on and uh, get into it for you. Okay, so what we've got here is just something really, really simple to demonstrate uh, these these new features with, and it's just two loops, a melody loop and a drum loop, um, both taken from sample CDs. Um, in fact, one of them, the drum loop is actually from the Ableton library, but it's not really important what the material is. The reason I've chosen these is because they're quite simple and you know, th this is the sort of thing this works very well with. You know, monophonic top lines and drum loops with very sort of, um, you know, distinguished and uh, very clearly defined mid uh, sounds and transients. So let's go ahead and play this back. I'll just solo the melody. And you can hear it's a bit, bit crushed. And this does provide a little bit of a challenge to the algorithm that's used to um, analyze the audio. And I wanted to show you that when we do it. And then we've got our drum loop, sort of like a hip hop break. But you know, clearly defined kick, hats and snare, which is reasonably important. If you're gonna, if you're gonna put like a really thrashy drum loop through this, that's got loads of different sounds, you're gonna get mixed results. But if you've got a defined drum loop like this, you sh it should do just fine. So let's start with the synth loop. And it really just is as easy as right clicking and choosing whatever you want out of the list here. So we're going to go with melody because obviously we want to convert this melody to a new MIDI track. As soon as you do that, it's going to analyze the audio here. And depending on what option you choose, in this case, it's going to convert it to a synth. And now if I stop the playback of this, and we'll just start the playback of this. I'll double click on the part so you can see the MIDI. Obviously that's, I'd say 90% of the way there, but let's be honest, pretty impressive stuff that it can analyze the audio and create um, the top line for you. We, uh, the faults I see are drop notes um, and the occasional sort of double note like we've got here. But it's not the end of the world. It's not something that you can't fix in about two seconds. Um, I think 
I think maybe this is going to be down here somewhere. But ultimately, what I find is if you've got something that's quite live like this loop or, you know, quite glitchy and you layer it with this MIDI, it generally works. Um, unless you need it to be exact and you want to replace the replace the sound, you're going to have to go through and edit. But it's pretty obvious to me what needs to be changed. You know, there's a missing note here, for example. And I think there was a missing note on the end. But it's going to be pretty clear. And I've found that when you analyse some loops, this just doesn't happen. You know, you, you it's hit and miss. But um, a great bit of technology. So let's play that back. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and choose a preset with uh, analog here and I'll go with synth lead and you know I'll pick a bit of a different sound to the original bring the original back in So, you know, really nice and easy to layer. Bring our drums back in. And adds a whole new edge to the sound. And you could add as many of these as you wanted to. You know, you could change the octave, change the sound. Um, with a hot swap, we can just go through. Just go through and add new presets. But this is always something I've done with MIDI. And I've never really been able to do it with audio unless you replay it um, or use Melodyne or something similar. But to have this right inside Ableton is a really great tool just to be able to quickly layer a, a top line. And it, it doesn't have to be a synth, remember. This could be, you know, a lead guitar. It could be, you know, flute, saxophone, whatever. It could even be a vocal. And, you know, you could quickly, you know, get a really close approximation of your melody in MIDI. So that's not where it stops. You know, we can also do drums. So let's take a look at that. And I'm just going to right click while it's playing on Convert Drums to New MIDI Track. It's quickly analyzed it and given us a drum track. Now, I didn't do this in rehearsal, so this is live and we're going to see what it's like. Let's take the, uh, the drum loop out. Pretty impressive. Obviously, the sounds aren't correct and I'm going to the, the levels a little bit wrong but let's solo that but what it's essentially done and let's just look at the midi is very clever you know it's worked out the hi-hats it's worked out the kick it's worked out the snare and that's from a piece of audio that's just from a, a, a wav loop so it's actually work you know works on the frequencies it's worked out whereabouts the kick drums are what is kick drum in there what is snare and what is hi-hat. And you can then go ahead and quantize that, you can move them around, uh, you can layer it, you can change the kit. And for me, this is massively important. You know, your drum replacement plugins that you used to have to use gates and replace complex replacement, you know, techniques or placing things yourself or working out exactly how the hi-hats uh, move. It's hopefully a thing of the past. And uh, now you can just right click and get it going and then layer your drums right there with a new part. And it's bang in time to me. I mean, that's that's a really a really thing of beauty um, because it's so simple and it's something that I can see getting used a lot. I can see people using this a lot. Uh, so there you go, two ways of layering melody and drums. This isn't exactly the best project in the world but I uh, hopefully this is demonstrated to you really really well and uh, I think you should if you're an Ableton user just get on this straight away and uh, start having fun with it so uh, there's a great tip for Ableton users next up more tips and tricks cheers